Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're having a great day, and welcome to the Tundra Dude 34 YouTube channel. So today is Wednesday, and this is usually the time of the week I start to plan for Sunday's dealership walk. How do I plan for Sunday's dealership walk? I look to see a few things. Inventory, what they have as far as used as well. I like to show a lot of second-gen Tundras, and if there's anything rare out there. When I was doing my dealership walk last week, one of the viewers said, have you seen any Solar Octane 2024 Tundras? And the answer to that is no. It's probably the only Tundra I have left to see for the 2024 model year. I have not seen one. So I wanted to go on Auto Trader and search around to see if there are any out there because I haven't been seeing them anywhere. So a nationwide search to find Solar Octane. In case you don't know, if you're new to Tundra, in 2022 and 2023, the special color for the TRD Pro was Solar Octane. Now the way Toyota works is after they're done using a special color on TRD Pro, it will move down into other trims. Solar Octane in 2024 came down to SR5 and Limited. And once again, we have yet to see it. And with an entire nationwide search on AutoTrader, I was able to find two. Two, that's it. And here they are. The first one, McDaniel Toyota. And this is an SR5 TRD off-road in solar octane. MSRP 62947. They're asking 57689 on this truck. Obviously brand new. It's four-wheel drive, but this is a pretty truck. It's definitely good looking. Uh, TRD off-road on the SR5. When you go into the off-road package, it actually adds chrome. If you have a regular SR5, certain things are body color, like the surround around the grill and the rear bumper panels. But for some reason for SR5, when you go into the TRD off-road package, it chromes those two items out. This has the TRD grill up front. It has the 18 inch wheel and tire package that comes on SR5 TRD off-road. A lot of dealerships will upgrade that to the 20 inch TRD wheel that comes on 1794 Platinum and Limited. But this one has it the way it should be. Predator steps on the side. And it's a beautiful color. I really do like the Solar Octane, and pictures do not do it justice. Uh, it definitely has a different look, whether you're in sunlight or shade. And I don't know. I really like the way it looks on you know, this SR5. With that TRD off-road package on SR5, you also get blacked-out badging. So chrome features and blacked-out badging. And if you go into limited and get TRD off-road, it body colors everything. I don't know. That's just the way it is. It blows my mind every time I walk around these trucks. But the black and the Solar Octane look really great together. And there's the chrome bumper panels, the blacked out 4x4, the Tundra splashed across the tailgate. Beautiful truck. Absolutely a nice looking truck and a great color. Now when we get to the inside of this SR5, this is where things can go many different ways because as we always talk about, the SR5 could be built in so many different ways. It's not like the SR5 of the last generation where it pretty much comes one way. This one here has the premium package on it because it has the soft text heated seats, but it does not have the premium audio package, which would give you the 14 inch screen. This has the eight inch screen. And because it has the eight inch screen, it means it does not have the bed lights and the outlet because in SR5, the bed lights and outlet come with the 14 inch screen. That's another one of those head scratchers for me. Uh, but overall, I mean, the eight inch screen does the job just fine. Uh, you still get your navigation options. You still get Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Uh, you know, it's still just as capable as the 14-inch screen, just a little bit smaller. If you're someone coming from the second gen, this size screen shouldn't bother you because that's what you have in the later years of the second generation. And there's a closer look at that 18-inch wheel and tire package that comes on SR5 Michelin LTX Trails. Now, once again, dealerships will add that 20-inch TRD wheel and tire package from the higher trim TRDs. If you do that, the tire becomes a Falcon Wild Peak. So that is our first Solar Octane Tundra we were able to find. And the other one I was able to find nationwide is definitely something to check out, especially if you like body color. This, ladies and gentlemen, is an SR5 again, but this one has the TRD Sport package, Joseph Toyota. So this here is an MSRP of 61920, and they're asking 57 093. So I expect this one to be loaded up nicely, just looking at that price point and knowing, you know, what SR5 usually goes for when it has some of the uh, higher end stuff like the 14 inch screen. This one actually has 268 miles on it. This might have been a demo or something. And it is four wheel drive with a five and a half foot bed. The first look of this truck, 
We have a nice front shot of it, and I wanted to show you right away. With TRD Sport, there's a couple of different things. Number one, it's body color all the way around. So we were talking about that chrome surround around that TRD grill on that SR5 TRD off-road. This one here is going to be body color. Also, Bilstein suspension, just like the TRD off-road, but this one has a one-inch drop in the front and more of a roadworthy tire, and it also comes with a 20-inch wheel. As we look down the side of the truck, this is when you're going to see just an absolutely beautiful truck and a beautiful configuration as close as you can get to, say, the Solar Octane TRD Pro of the past couple of bottle years because everything is body color and blacked out. I always say, and I always will say, second gen and third gen, the TRD Sport package makes the Tundra look way more expensive than it is. If you don't know your Tundras and you were looking at this truck, this has the look of something way more expensive, even though it's just an SR5. So this is a crew max. That window goes all the way down in the back. Just like the TRD off-road package, you get the blacked out badging, but you got some unique wheels there. And down the side, all of the, the chrome lip around the wheel and some of the chrome on the front and rear of the truck, it's all gone. It's all body color. So first, you'll have to let me know, regardless of color, would you pick TRD off-road or TRD sport? The main functional difference between those two packages is the TRD off-road offers multi-terrain select, crawl control, locking rear diff that is not available on TRD Sport. So let me know in the comments below on that. Now, when we get to the inside, we're going to see those heated soft tech seats again. But the difference is now you're going to see the 14 inch screen, which means you're going to get the bed lights and the outlet. It's called the premium audio package, ladies and gentlemen. They really broke up their packaging with the new generation Tundra. It used to be you would get one thing or one package and it would give you everything. Now you could kind of pick and choose your battles with what you want or as far as how the dealership uh, gets the truck built when they get their allocation, uh, you know, sent to the lot. There's just a lot of different things you could do with these trucks now. And this is definitely one of them. So like I always tell you guys, make sure you research and check out what is on the truck. Premium audio package is different from the TRD off-road premium package, TRD sport premium package and SR5 premium package. The SR5 TRD sport and TRD off-road premium package that gives you things like the soft text heated seats. So just keep that in mind, just trying to help you shop, but a great looking interior because everything is black. You got the gray headliner, but it really does flow together nicely on the inside and that super bright solar octane on the outside. So what's your opinion on this? Of those two, which one would you prefer? The SR5 TRD Off-Road or the SR5 TRD Sport? Personally, if it's just a look kind of thing, I love the TRD Sport look. I mean, it looks amazing with all of the body color on it. If it's a functional thing, lock and diff, multi-terrain select and crawl control, TRD off-road, if that is what you want out of your truck. One thing we're not talking about here, I can't seem to find it. There's also a solar octane option in the limited. So if you get the limited TRD off-road and solar octane, you're getting the body color, just like you see on the sport. You're gonna get the lock and rear diff, multi-terrain select and crawl control and the look. And because it's a limited, you're gonna start getting options like the optional pano moonroof JBL sound system. There's a lot of things you could do when you go up to limited iForce or iForce Max. So I've never been able to find that limited TRD off-road. I'll always look in the solar octane, but so far I check every once in a while, two, two in the nation right now. Um, yeah, I just want to see one in person so bad. I want to see that up close and personal, but unfortunately they're just not out there. These two dealerships are very far away from me. So have you seen a solar octane at your lot? And if so, was it the SR5, TRD Off-Road, TRD Sport, or the Limited? I was able to see the 2022 and 2023 solar octane TRD Pro. That was on the lots here. But these 2024s in the lower trim with that color, can't find them. Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, TikTok, it's 134, 134 gmail.com. Let me know if you're able to find these trucks out there. And was anyone able to find that elusive limited TRD off-road and solar octane?